G'day YouTube, so today we're going to go over my Game of Thrones collection episode 2. Uh, this is all this is all the pops that I have that have died or did or thought they died, but for some reason they didn't. So let's go through this and let's get started. <laughs> So, how is everybody doing today? We are going to go over all the pops that have died or we thought died. First off, thanks for joining me today and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Every subscription counts and I really do appreciate it. But, we're going to get started on this. So, we'll start in... Let's go in order. Because an order is always a good thing. So, we're going to start with Ygritte. Uh, I've covered Ygritte before. Uh... Egret is Jon Snow's wildling lover. Um, she dies in season two, I believe, after Jon Snow uh, goes beyond the wall. And uh, then, while assaulting Castle Black, um, Egret gets shot with two arrows to the chest and dies in a very touching moment of You Know Nothing, Jon Snow. And that little, that little brat of a kid, you know, I, I liked him until he, until he betrayed Jon Snow. He was good until he betrayed Jon Snow, but, um, Yigurt was a great character. Um, she is in my top three most expensive pops that I have, and I, I think it's really cool. Um, I don't really use Stashopedia for, like, for s knowing how much they are to sell them. I'm just like knowing how much they are and like, okay, I got this for $15 in 2015 and now it's 106 So, um, yeah, and then I use Stashpedia at the store to see, okay, is this, do I need to buy this one or is this one really common and I just, it's like $9 online. You know, if I'm going to pay $15 at the store or $9 online, I'm just going to get it somewhere else. I'll get it when it's on special or something. So, uh, but Yigret, Yigret's one of my top three in the collection. Okay, so, moving forward. Uh, Joffrey Baratheon. Um, Joffrey Baratheon is by far my, one of my, most hated characters in the whole collection, and I don't think anybody else disagrees with me. Joffrey Bar Baratheon was terrible. He wanted to kill everybody, he killed Ned Stark, although that created one of the most expensive pops of all time, but, eh, but, so, Joffrey Baratheon, Baratheon died in an amazing fashion killed by uh, Elena Tyrell, uh, oh, spoiler alert, <laughs> if you haven't watched the last season, uh, and he gets poisoned, and you know it's a woman, because women poison people, and uh, right as Elena Tyrell gets poisoned by, willingly poisoned by Jamie Lannister, she confesses while she's dying, be like, by the way, I killed your son, like, last laugh awesome moment, but Joffrey Baratheon was, he needed to die, and I wish he died in a more gruesome fashion, like, really, like, yeah, he was pouring blood and everything out of his guts, but it needed to be a little more, like, epically awesome, like, but, so, prediction with Joffrey Baratheon, I hope he makes a cameo appearance, like, the person that plays him, but I hope it's as Arya kills Cersei Lannister. Like, I want Arya to have Joffrey's face on when she kills Cersei. There's my prediction. Because the book hasn't come out, nobody knows, apart from the cast. Okay, so we're going to go on to... Hmm. Okay. Everybody's loved character. Hodor. 
um, Hodor ha was a mis mystery character for so much of the series. Um, he only says Hodor. Hodor. And then in... Was it the last season or the season before? We get this incredibly touching event, series of events that lead to why Hodor only says Hodor. And it just changes your whole perspective of Hodor. And when I we got this pop right before that season and he is a season, edition three. And his after that his price just went right up it was like okay like he became he was vaulted already but he became more wanted after that episode and hmm, but he is in my top 10 and i really like it um he is probably after that episode he became easily one of the best characters with story wise of game of thrones it was amazing but hodor um oh man fell in the Okay, uh, uh, we're going to go on to Ramsey Bolton, and I wish I could get this GameStop sticker off, but I can't. Okay, this is a GameStop exclusive Ramsey Bo Bolton. I don't know if they came out with a regular one. Doesn't look like it. But, okay, so everyone, along with Joffrey, everyone hates Ramsey. He is, apart from he is smart, he is cunning, and he is terrible he is evil um there like there are so many memes about ramsey bolton holding a sausage yeah we've all we've all seen them i'm not going to go into it too much but poor poor greyjoy poor <laughs> but so ramsey bolton uh he dies in the battle of the bar well right at the end of the battle of the bastards he has been starving his and Jon Snow, uh, when they capture, when they finally get into, uh, castle, back home, I can't remember it right now, <laughs> oops, but when, when they finally reclaim their home, um, Ramsay Bolton, uh, escapes to his hound room, and, um, he hasn't fed his hounds in a while, so, uh, Jon Snow lets them loose. We don't actually get to see it, so... But, I don't know why, because Game of Thrones has pr shown some pretty gruesome stuff. But, so, when Ramsay dies, we were all like, yes! What he did to the Stark brother, though, that was really messed up. Go on, little snuff. Go on. Shoot him in the back. Terrible moment. Um, but, really glad he's died. He's dead. And, good riddance. Okay. Ooh, Marjorie Tyrell. Okay, Marjorie Tyrell. Uh, she, she. I liked her as a character. I really did. She was incredibly intelligent. Intelligent. Um, literally one of the only characters that was able to keep up mentally with Cersei Lannister. Um, unfortunately, Cersei Lannister did get the better of everyone by blowing up the entire church. But, for the most part, she was usually one step ahead of Cersei. Um, she did, um, marry, uh, Tomlin, um, and, uh, she became technically queen. Uh, but, uh, I always like the joke. Uh, why is it called King's Landing? Because of Tomlin. But, she gets, uh, just, she is in the church that gets blown up by Dragon's Breath. Um, Cersei Lannister puts a absolute cubic ton of it underneath the church and then blows it to smithereens. Tomlin sees this and decides to jump off the balcony. Meaning, he landed quite firmly. <laughs> so, found the ghoulis. Okay, we're going to go on to P. 
Peter Baelish. This moment when Peter Baelish dies was the, one of the greatest moments in Game of Thrones cinematic experience. Everything. Greatest moment. One of the greatest. Because you don't, no one sees it coming. He doesn't see it coming. The audience doesn't see it coming. You think he's going to get away with it again. And then Aya kills him. And it's great. Right before it's like, oh my gosh. We're charging you with, with treason. We're charging you with murder. We're charging you with this. How do you confess? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Stab. Awesome moment. So, um, very glad that Peter Baelish is dead. Uh, he was an an incredibly intelligent character, but incredibly annoying. Always in his, um, did everything in his best interest, and uh, didn't care who he screwed over in the process. And he's he's played both sides, so good riddance. Okay, so wait, let's go on to characters that we thought were dead, but then didn't die. Okay, so we'll start off with. Jorah Mormont. Jorah Mormont, uh, he got grayscale. Um, and until Samuel Tali, there was no cure for grayscale. Um, he should have died. He'd left. Left Daenerys, left everything to go, to go die in peace. And then he didn't die. Samuel saved his life, and now he's miraculously back. I do suspect that he will die in the last in the last season. So, moving on. Let's. I'm gonna do these two together. The Cleganes. Okay, so the Hound, so Sandor Clegane, and the Mountain, so Gregor Clegane. For some reason, these two. Don't die. Season 2, the hound is left on the side of a mountain. Bleeding and dying and I left him there. Didn't help him. He was gone for four seasons and then season 6 he miraculously shows up again. On a farm. A changed man. It was rather weird, but it did introduce him back into the story. Um, so... And I suspect he's got a really big part in this because it keeps foreshadowing that he does. Okay, the mountain. So Gregor again. Um, the the mountain has one of the most gruesome fight scenes in the history of Game of Thrones um, when he battles uh, Oberon. Uh, I wish I didn't see that, but I did. Um, after that, he had taken multiple cuts from Oberon's blade, uh, which poisoned him with an incredibly deadly poison, and he technically died. Died. Dead. And then the mad scientist brought him back. So he is... T I would still count him as dead. But for some reason, he's undead. Um, he's as close to a White Walker without being a White Walker. I wonder how the White Walkers would look at him. There's a question. Okay. So, the Kilgains. Do you think they'll die? Okay. And finally, but not least, Jon Snow. Okay. So, Jon Snow died. He died. He was stabbed numerous times by his brothers of the watch for betraying them for being a wildling lover for everything becoming commander everything they hated him so they killed him and then the crazy witch lady what's her name i can't think of it red the red does the red queen red witch red something but she brought him back with some crazy voodoo magic. Um, and we're just like, what? And now we find out he is 
something else. He's not a snow. And... Mm hmm Because dragons like him. Okay. If you didn't see it, I'm not going to ruin it for you. But dragons like him. Mm-hmm. Okay, but Jon Snow did die, and then he was brought back to life. I suspect that he might be the only one that doesn't die in the Game of Thrones series. But then again, it does say all men must die. So stay tuned for the next episode of the Game of Thrones collection, where we deal with everyone that's still alive. So I'll see you next time, and have a great day.